Back with another game from the Humble Bundle Choice of April. This game is Opus Magnum. It's a puzzle game. Uh, not really my forte either. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but the uh, you can design and build machines that carry out alchemical processes, a variety of components including programmable arms, tracks, and whatnot. Uh, it's got open-ended puzzles, it's got a ton of stuff on the Steam Workshop, it's got a rich story, and it's got a little solitaire minigame for you. So, we should have something for everyone. Uh, like I said before, this is part of the Humble Bundle choice of April. Uh, they give you 12 choices. This is one of the ones that I picked. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Let's get into it. So, we start out here. Um, oh. Here is the, uh, the journal. Right, warning the experiments described in the Journal of Alchemical Engineering or Advanced Research Project conducted by prominent alchemists of the university. We advise... Completing the first few chapters of Opus Magnum campaign before attempting to replicate them. Alright, uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing any of that stuff. So let's, uh, let's, let's go there. Um, uh, these probably the campaign chapters. This is the Imperial University. That's the options menu. Yeah. Alright. So the first one, all right, access is restricted to graduate level outcome. Engineers, students, and faculty only. Exceptions must be approved by the chancellor. Keep your student outcome permit in sigil with you at all times while in lab. No food or drink permitted in lab, normal for a lab. Uh, do not sit on or lean on, do not sit or lean on transmutation engines or the related components. Please keep the area clean for months. That means you and Anactus. Alright, well. Alright, lesson one. It's like being back in school. Right, Henley Services. I am amazed you put off learning how to use a transmutation engine for this long. Well, <laughs> no choice. Oh, that is, oh, that's me, I think. I was concentrating on working by hand. You know that. Anatius, you're about to, we're about to graduate. I know, that's why I need you to summarize all this for me as fast as you can. All right, we have to solve the puzzle to continue. And let's, uh, let's open it. All right, these are the regions. They're input materials for doing alchemy. This is the product. Your job is to build machines that combine regions into proper useful products. This is the instruction tray. Instructions tell the machines parts what to do. To complete the puzzle, build all the products. Press, plus, bleh, press the play button below to start the transmutation engine. All right, so it's uh, look at that, look at it go. It's the instruction tray, the instruction machine. So, oh, it's getting faster. All right, the cost is ninety, whatever that is, and uh, yeah. Understand so far? Nope. No idea. No idea. Of course, I knew that part of you. That's why I never worried about it. I count you as a friend. Hey, Natias. But sometimes you carry your little genius alchemist act a little too far. Act. All right. Introduction's done. Lesson arms. We're gonna learn about your arms. Everyone has two of them. 
Well, most everyone has two of them. Uh, so let's take the first and most important part, the arm. I understand what's next. Wait, don't rush ahead. Let me go through the material. You need to see this. Alright, let's solve the puzzle. Place an arm below, setting the rotation and length so the gripper is over the regents. Then add instructions to the instruction trade below to make it pick up the regent and move to the project output. Alright, so. Place the arm below. Elemental salt that's got to go in there. So, I have to grab it, rotate. rotate, and drop, and then rotate back. Oh. Uh, didn't uh, tell to do anything. Alright, so grab. Let's see, where is the grab? Grab is, is F. F. And then we rotate D. And then we drop with R. And then we rotate with A. Let's see if it works. Oh, it does not. Okay, I got it. So it's got a one, two, set, right? So. So let's add another Rotate and another rotate. How about that? Nope, not far enough. Alright, so <laughs> let's, let's add uh, another rotate. Oh, bam, look at that. There we go. There we go. Alright, we successfully created it. Alright, right. So arms pick up and move elemental proxies around the surface of the transmutation engine. Yep. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> right, and you control their behavior. With instructions, yes, of course. Of course. Uh, but of course. Alright, uh lesson two. Or four. Three. Counting is easy, right? <laughs> All right. In some cases, you want an arm to rotate what it's gripping. You mean, as opposed to the arm itself rotating? That's right. In those cases, you use the pivot instructions. All right. All right. Let's uh, pivot. Place an arm below. Bam. And the instructions you make it pick up the movement. Oh, okay, so... So, it'll wonder... Just pick up... Grab. Yep. And then rotate 60 degrees. 160. Well, don't make it easy for me. <laughs> okay, so it'll go... One, right? One, because this is six. One. One. Oh, and pivot. How long? Pivot. Oh, jeez. So. Well, you know what? Let's. 
Ah, okay, so I have to pivot it once and then drop it. And, and then return it. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. It's like I know what I'm doing. It's like I'm a, I'm a prodigy. It's not an act. <laughs> it's a return to the menu. All oh, very straightforward and simple. How nice that this <laughs> so easy for you. Why, how long did it take you to learn all this? Let's just keep going. Apparently it took him a little bit longer than than I did. Right, pistons. Piston arm is a special kind of arm that can extend and retract. Then presumably there are instructions that control it. Yeah. That's right, I'll demonstrate. Alright. Reset instruction. Make the arm drop any held items to reset its initial rotation at the position. And this is drop instructions disabled. You must use the reset instruction set. Okay. Place the piston arm below. And add the instructions to make it pick up. Uh, that's not what I need to pick up. So. It will. will rotate. Rotate. So I need two. To the, I think I have to make it, pick it up first, and then two of those. I'll make it shrink by one. So then I'll probably go doom, boom, boom, and then drop. But it won't drop because it doesn't know how to. So let's try that. Oh, look at that! Like a freaking work of art. Probably could have put the, the shrink in first. But it still worked, so I don't really think it mattered. I see. The pistons aren't going to reach areas you can't normal with the normal one. That's what makes them more useful. They cost a little bit more than a regular arm, though. And I can use the recent instruction to make the arm return to initial state from wherever it is. That's convenient. It sure is. Just remember that the recent instruction takes the same amount of time it would to issue those individual instructions. Okay. Well, yes, of course it would. Of course. All right. So let's learn about tracks. What's next? Next we have tracks which are like paths you can place on the board. It's easier to show you. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Move, move, move. So create a track between the region and the product. Place an arm on a track. <clears throat> Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> I screwed that up. Oh man. Okay, let's try it again. <clears throat> Alright, so place it here. It'll go to here. It'll go down the track. Rotate. Alright, so let's go with grab. <clears throat> Move. Move. So it'll boom, boom, and then it'll slip there. So rotate, 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 and then I can either uh, do I want to drop it or do I, do I just want it to return? Let's see if that works. Ah, uh, lovely. Very, very lovely. All 
Alright. That's... This game's kind of fun. It's it's a little bit different than than probably most of the games that y'all are used to playing. Alright. I see. So when you place an arm on track, the arm can move forward and backward along the same path. Yep. The tracks can be quite powerful, but I'm still learning how to use them effectively. Could you put multiple arms onto a single track? I think so? Never thought to try that. I'll have to experiment a little more later. Alright. Transmutation. To perform transmutation, we use glyphs. For example, say I want to, to calcify an element. You place a glyph of calcification on the board and move the element you want to calcify over it. Over it. Yep. Yep, I mean, yes, that's correct. <laughs> but at least let me get through the explanation first. I got all the explanation I needed. What a nice guy. Alright, so use a piston arm and a glyph to calcification to turn the region of fire atom into the product salt atom and move it to the product of okay. So, boom. And then we put that. So that'll go grab, move. Hmm. This one's a little bit more interesting. So if I so it'll go boom, down one, and then in and down. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. We have two. I could just be doing that. Um, piston in is S. And another rotate. And then a turn. And let's hope that it all works. Nope, 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 nope. God dang it. That's not it. <laughs> Alright, stop it. Stop it. Get some help. I think I got it now. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I just wasn't aware of how it traveled at first, so it's my bad. It's quite fast, this glyph. Yes, welcome to modern alch alchemical engineering. How many transportations are available as glyphs? Most of the common ones so far. Their ongoing research develop more, which you should know if you haven't paid any attention to research development in your field. Uh, cool. Alright, this must be the glyph of bonding. It is, to use it. Actually, why don't you show me how it works? Seems that's the way things are going on here. Very well. Alright, so use two arms and the glyph of bonding to bond two salt atoms together and move them to the output. Um, whoops. Yep, so I want them to start. Yeah. Start there. And then. Okay, so three. Alright, four is gonna go um, up one. Whoop. Probably help if I, uh, if I had to grab that. And then. Move up one. Oh, 
so this is gonna be interesting. I don't know how this is gonna work. So, up and D. So, is there a. I see, so they bond. And then uh, move up and. Ex You know what? I think I I think I got this. So three after it bonds, it'll it'll drop, and then four will keep going, and then drop, and then it's either gonna work out perfectly or I'm gonna mess everything up. <laughs> Oh, forgot to rotate. Uh. Forgot to rotate. Rotate before I drop. So I have to rotate it down. Oh, look at that. It's a good thing I showed them how it worked. <laughs> All right, so. The transportation engine makes alchem alchemical engineering far simpler. You could have been using it the whole time. But I'm glad I did things the hard way so, for so long. I hope you're not like this real life. <laughs> hmm? But this is real life. Or is it? Alright. This is... I think that's everything you need to know to use a transportation engine effectively. Make one more product to make sure that I get it. All right, so. Uh, building building area, parts trays, parts trays and instruction tray can now be panned. Right click and move through the dragon with mouse. If you have mouse wheel, mouse with the scroll wheel, you can also use that to vertically scroll through the parts and instruction tray, okay. So. Oh, okay. All right, so I was do for now, and you'll be place the product for you on your own there at the top of the toolbar. All right, so these are the products. Water, water, stabilize. How do I do stabilize water? I don't know how. Oh, holy crap. All right, so what do I have to do? Top of the toolbox. Oh, jeez. All right, so what do I need to do? Yeah, I, I know how to do that. That's that's not the issue. Oh. Okay, so what do I need? I need a stabilized water. Oh, the product is there. Oh, duh. You suck! Okay, so... Piston. So what if I just did this? Put this, and then did that, <clears throat> and did that.
So let's see if we can make this thing kind of complicated here. <laughs> oh, this is going to kill me probably. <laughs> Because you guys don't know, this is this is really late at night, so my brain is working at full capacity, obviously. So, all right, so we need one needs to pick it up, which is F, and then move down the track. All right, so I wonder, do I have to? Okay, so I don't have to do it. And then after that, I'm gonna move it down and then drop it and return. All right, two is going to just rotate after picking up the item and then it'll drop. So I can just tell it to um, only get one. Oh wow, well, that's that's unfortunate. I wonder if I can just. Well, this is going to take a little bit more than I had uh, than I had figured, which is fine. But we'll have to sit there and wait. And I wonder if I can calcify it. So. I wonder if I can calcify it without destroying it. So if I have a drop and then it goes here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Whew. Okay, so let's uh It's either going to work perfectly or I'm going to screw it all up. So. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That, that is fantastic. So what are your plans after you graduate? I think I'll be, I'll be at Alchemist for one of those... For one of the August houses? That's bold right at school? Why not? Sure enough, no ambition could be too great for you. And yourself? I like it here. I think I'll stick around and hopefully become a professor. You do seem to have an affinity for teaching. Think so? Well, well then. Each of us realizes hope is my Oh, jeez. Obus Magnum. I always found that to be a rather pretentious term, but I agree with the sentiment at least. Why are you laughing? If I have found something pretentious. Oh, <laughs> tell me more. Alright. So that, I'm assuming, is the end of the, uh, the tutorial. Uh, it's a very interesting game. You can see this being kind of fun. 
uh, even if you don't really like puzzle games. Uh, but it's a it's a great addition to my my game library. If you liked what you saw, hit the little like button down below. Uh, I know this video is a little bit longer than the ones I normally do, but I wanted to get through the whole tutorial so that way you guys could get a feel of the game. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, one of the games that you can get if you uh, subscribe to the Humble Bundle Choice and uh, and select it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below all the information for or to go to the website for the information for the humble bundle choice I will also leave a link for the game on Steam if you want to check that out and uh, yeah thank you all for watching subscribe if you haven't tell your friends and as always have a nice day